What's up, core reporters, and welcome back to my channel, legendary talk show host Wendy Williams's team, most specifically her guardian, is seeking $100,000 from her ex-husband, Kelvin Hunter. So why would she be seeking $100,000 from Kelvin Hunter when she's the one who's been having to pay him because she made all the money and he's broke? Well, according to her guardian, it's because Wendy overpaid Kelvin by $112,000. When she and Kelvin divorced, she was ordered to pay him some sort of spousal support but in the agreement it said that the payments were supposed to end if wendy's annual income dropped below a certain amount well wendy she stopped hosting the wendy williams show in october of 2021 and obviously that caused her income to drop meaning that as of that point she wasn't supposed to be paying calvin but she continued anyway here's a direct quote from her guardian. She says, and I quote, Wendy continued to pay Mr. Hunter. He says in his motion papers that he was paid through January of 2022. As a result, Kevin has been unjustly enriched by the receipt of $112,500, AKA $37,500 multiplied by three months belonging to Wendy. Because of course, um, from October, 2021, that's when she was supposed to stop, but she continued. So November, December, January is what Kevin reported as being his final payment. So they're like, oh, thanks for bringing that to our attention. So basically none of this would have been really brought to their attention. And Kevin wouldn't have to owe her money at this point if he didn't bring forward this latest motion, trying to get more money out of her. And I just love that for him so not only is wendy's guardian asking kelvin to return the money she's also asking the court to order a gag order on him to prevent him from further discussing the situation and she's also asking for his request to be moved from court into arbitration instead. I don't know how Kevin's gonna be able to pay this because again, he doesn't have money of his own. He always relied on Wendy for money, which actually makes you wonder why he did not diversify his talent managing portfolio. Why was he exclusively managing Wendy? He should have had other clients as well, especially if he knew he was cheating on her. Obviously at a certain point, one day she would get sick and tired of your games and move on with her life. So um, in his filing, asking for more money from Wendy, Kevin actually said, listen, I am broke. I need her to live. He said, and I quote, this is an emergent matter because I rely on the severance pay for my living expenses and having been without this income for 23 months has affected me greatly. Therefore, I respectfully request that the court require Wendy to immediately pay all severance payments, which may be due and owing at the time of this court's order. Too bad, so sad. You shouldn't have effed around on your wife and made an outside baby. I really don't feel bad for him. Kudos to Wendy on the way that she handled this divorce, like this prenup, postnup, whatever it is, that specifically said, or the settlement that said that she was not going to be obligated to pay this man if she did not have the money and if she was not working. Sometimes I wonder if all of this was orchestrated for this, to pay him back for this, you know what I mean? For everything that he did, that she would just stop working. I know that she's sick and she's been diagnosed with dementia these days and stuff like that but I do wonder if her early days of uh, no longer working had to do with that like absolutely not I'm not paying this man out of my pocket or anything like that you know um, but I'm really really happy that she and her legal team made sure that that was mentioned because imagine having dementia and suffering from all sorts of ailments and losing your own money and having to be responsible for this trifling you know, deadbeat husband who caused your divorce in the first place. Like, absolutely not. I do wonder what's going to happen. Will the judge grant the judgment for Wendy Williams's guardian? Is Kevin Hunter about to owe Wendy Williams $112,000? I sure hope so. But let me know what you guys are hoping turns out in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.